hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to show you how to create a simple spring boot application using spring initializer so let's start at first you go to your chrome browser and type spring initializer and click on the first link as you can see the project selected is gradle but i want to choose maven because i want to create a maven project you choose accordingly then the language i will choose java because i am going to create a java project in spring boot then the spring boot version the latest version is selected you can change it or you cannot change it as your wish then you can see the group name you can give any group name i will give com.rejushree and then the artifact name is the project name you can say uh, you can type app one or app uh, spring app whatever you want spring boot app i typed so this is the project name and the name is similar to this then you can see the package name comes as com.registry.springbootapp so this is the group name this is the artifact name okay and then the packaging you can choose jar or var jar is java archive var is web archive but i would recommend you to choose jar for now and then the java version i will choose 22 because i have jdk 22 installed in my system you can choose any version accordingly now you can generate the spring boot application but before that you can also add some dependencies if you don't add dependencies that is also fine a basic spring boot application will be created with the spring boot starter dependency which contains the spring core features but if you want the spring web features you can add the spring web dependency also uh, this spring web dependency contains the tomcat server and the mvc dependencies and all which is used to create a web application but if you don't want to create a web application just want to create a basic spring boot starter application then you can skip this dependency also also apart from this this there are other dependencies available like time leave uh, jpa etc you can add that if you need and after that you can click on this generate button to generate the zip file now go to the downloads folder and you can see spring boot app zip file is available here you can extract it by right clicking and click on extract all click on extract Now this is the Spring Boot app project folder. So this you have to import in your Eclipse IDE. So go to the Eclipse IDE. In the project explorer tab, right click anywhere in this white space and click on import. And click on import again. Here search Maven and click enter because we are importing a maven project that's why i typed maven and searched it now click on browse to browse to that project folder which we have extracted just now go to downloads this is the spring boot app folder select this folder and click on select folder this project folder is imported click on finish as you can see on the bottom left uh, bottom right that uh, it's importing the dependencies so you have to wait until all the dependencies are extracted so the loading of this project is finished and now you can go inside the spring boot app folder which we have just imported and you can go to the pom.xml file if you come here you can see the dependency spring boot starter web because I have added this dependency starter web. If you have not added, then here in place of starter web, you will see only Spring Boot starter dependency. Okay. Now to run the Spring Boot application, you can go to SRC main Java folder and inside that we have a package. Inside this package, we have Spring Boot application.java file. From here, the Spring Boot application will start executing. So to execute it, I can just type a sample message to see in the console system.out.println hello world uh, let's save it and run it right click here and click on run as click on spring boot app yes. 
as you can see it started running but it failed because it's showing web server failed to start port 8080 was already in use so this port 8080 is already used by some other services so this tomcat server which is uh, a dependency in the spring boot starter web is not able to use it so what we have to do we can change the port number to change the port number go inside the folder src main resources and inside this go to application dot properties here you can change the port number by typing server dot port uh, you can give any port I will give 9081 you can give any port which is not used by any other services save it and now again click the Spring Boot application and run it now let's see whether the message hello world is printed or not As you can see the message hello world got printed in the console so this is how you can run a very basic spring boot application using the spring boot starter web dependency so that's it for today i hope you like this video thanks for watching my video have a nice day